Wilson. Okay, well, my sister works as a hydrologist for the USGS, and uh, she sent me a, a link to a um, web page on the study that they've done. And basically, they've got um, um, down in the ocean, on the ocean floor, they've just finished, um, they were deployed, deployed in 2005. They've got a bunch of sensors down there. And the sampling frequencies, they're looking for frequencies of 2 to 80 hertz, 2 to 80 cycles a second. And um, basically, they've, they're concluding that the Caribbean plate is moving south and the North American plate is moving north. And I don't know about elevations, but I can tell you that part of the reason for the tsunami in Japan is that one side of the subduction zone, you know, that's where the two continental plates are meeting, or the two tectonic plates are meeting, um, you get a tsunami when one suddenly drops. Let's say it hangs up and the other one is pushing forward, and it gets uh, kind of elevated, like you're pushing it up, and then all of a sudden uh, something fractures and it collapses. And then you, it's almost like um, if you do a cannonball into a swimming pool, you displace a lot of water, and that makes a huge wave that then comes and engulfs, say, the Gulf Coast. So anyway, they they are study. They have just finished this study, and uh, uh, the the link is if you go into Google and just type um, I've got it. I've USGS got it pulled up. I've got Puerto it pulled Rico up for everybody. Survey. I've got it pulled up for everybody right now. We're looking at it. Um, real quick, though. The Dutch, you want to talk about the FEMA thing? Right, right. Well, this is this dovetail. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, this dovetails nicely into the uh, PDF file that was sent to me a couple weeks ago now for the um, Caribbean tsunami exercise held by FEMA just two weeks ago now. And it was a simulation of a large-scale um, event that occurs in the Caribbean and causes a tsunami. And they, they went through multiple scenarios, one of which includes Puerto Rico ha having a tsunami event occur with it, um, occur with a giant quake along the Puerto Rican, uh, along the trench right there. Listen, listen, and everybody, real quick, just so you know, what we're getting at here, okay, and I don't mean to interrupt you, Dutch, but I'm going to get down to the bread and butter because this is very important. Just like when Jenny and I uh, start talking about the New Madrid and all these uh, links for requests for information from DHS and blah, 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 all that stuff came pouring in. We found something. We, we, we learned a lot. Well, here we go. To, or along yes. the, or how about, how about the entire Gulf of Mexico? Okay, the people that would need to be concerned about this and immediately I'm just going to name it off. would be Florida, uh, yeah. Um, immediately would, of course, be Haiti and Dominican Republic because they're directly to the west. Right. Bahamas. You're looking to, um, you're looking to the south um, along on the coast of uh, so the northern coast of South America, and then you're looking at all the small islands that go up and up to and including the um, the Florida Keys. I'd, I'd say the Florida Keys would be. You got to figure Florida is absolutely about maybe at the highest point, um, ten feet above sea level. Yeah, and the, the and tsunami in Japan wasn't that thirty feet? That was thir thirty feet, and in some places, thirty meters. Thirty which meters. Means 90 feet. Wow. Yes, 90 it, was, feet. it was measured at, at close to, close to ninety feet at some points along the, the Japan coast. So let's just say it was just you know cut it all in half, and let's say it's fifteen feet and 30 feet max, okay? You're looking at a giant wave that would come over the entire state. Exactly. It would go literally. And it would even and that would explain. It would even affect yeah, the would. east coast looking at the ridge here. Mm -hmm. Looking at that yes. trench that Jenny is describing, it looks like if it were to go under the plate, I mean, it looks like it would push a wave, you know, along the east coast as well. I mean, it's just not looking pretty. Yes. You're right. Your area, actually, uh, your state. There's one other factor about this that I think would be well. I, 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 yes, is the Puerto Rico trench. So what I'm saying is, this is the same type of thing that can happen. All right, what do you think is going to happen with the state of Florida if this thing 
snaps and we were looking at well Mike we're let me make a point about the differences in elevation uh, I've been to Puerto Rico spent quite a bit of time there and it's extremely mountainous and the, those mount the uh, islands all along that chain of islands um, have you know they they are fairly high um, they're fairly massive and uh, so obviously the ridge on that side, that's the northwest side uh, corner of the Caribbean plate. The Caribbean plate goes along that, that uh, row of islands, and then it kind of heads southwest toward um, Central America from there. So it's, it's really not the Gulf, but it is um, just north of the uh, coast of South America, all the way up to all little islands like St. Thomas and uh, Belize and places like that. That's the Caribbean plate. And um, those are mountainous. That's a mountainous ridge. So obviously, if you think about Florida and a lot of the, the um, Gulf Coast of the United States, I, I spent a lot of time in the Florida Keys, and I can tell you that the elevation there is about two feet. And vast stretches of Florida are low plain. Uh, the, the drainage for Lake Okeechobee, it's all flat, and it's, it's just uh, Everglades. <clears throat> so the flat side, the low side of the subduction zone is the United States side. So any tsunami that were to form is probably going to come off of the Caribbean or the Puerto Rico mountain range and all those mountain ranges, and it will go north toward the flat areas of the United States. Well, I'm sitting here looking at this on Google Earth as you talk about it, and I can see exactly what it is you're talking about, and it looks like uh, what you're talking about kind of cuts through Puerto Rico, and it shows that if there was to be any type of subduction going on, that that would create a wave that would go northwards towards, uh, towards Florida, and... You know, 